Alright, Claire's first day of school. Fourth grade, huh? Yep. I'm going to oh, I want. Oh. I'm going to this school. Home school. Oh, my favorite teacher. Aww. Fourth grade. Yay, also my big girl. Also the year where I turn uh ten. That's my skeleton cheese. Your skeleton cheese? What? You're weird. Are you excited to start school? Do you think people would actually think it's school? You're excited? Uh -huh. Kyle, act like you love each other. Shit. <laughs> now, silly faces. Hello, friends, and welcome to week two of the Tome Topple Readathon. Um, yeah, I look rough. I was gonna start vlogging yesterday, and I should have, like, looks wise, because I had on makeup, I was so motivated and excited and stuff, and I'm still, like, in a good mood, but not looking the best, but it's okay. Uh, yesterday, sorry, yesterday we started Bookshark curriculum, first day, and it went really well. Yesterday took a lot longer than today did. Today only took about five. Yesterday took almost seven hours, because it was our first day. There was a lot of reading out loud, and I don't know, it is gonna affect my reading, I believe, but I'm still going to vlog my progress on my tomes. I'm still gonna be working on my tomes, and actually right now I'm about to pick up the bone, the bone clocks again, and I started walking this week for like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, um, just to get some exercise in, and Feel better about myself you know so that's that and while I do that I listen to my audiobook which is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson still and it's going really well I think I've got <sighs> less than 10 hours left now I think around nine and a half uh, 10 at most but like I said I'm pretty sure I'm down to nine and a half hours so that should be very easy to finish this week um, because I like to listen to my audiobook while I walk and also whenever I clean or anything like that so easily I could I can get that done easily and only that but sometimes I just feel like listening to an audiobook you know so that's my progress on that I will be able to finish Mistborn the final empire for sure um, I really really would like to finish this physical book also it is harder for me to find time to read at the moment but i'm going to really push myself to utilize my time wisely way less social media and phone time and more reading or like mind enriching activities so yes i'm still gonna play on my phone and have fun but less less time on my phone more time reading and spending time with the kids but honestly homeschool has improved that because even though we're like doing schoolwork and stuff uh and reading out loud it's still fun and like i don't know today claire was like i'm so glad we're doing school together it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time especially with claire because for kai he's in preschool we just go over his alphabet and his numbers um, and his writing every day like he's just we're mostly focusing on him learning how to write the letters out Someone is begging for some attention <laughs> um, But yeah, so uh, I Don't know if the last video was too chatty too long too annoying or what have you so I'm going to try and make this one less so um, I'm also looking for some new editing tricks, so you might see some fun stuff on this video. So I'm gonna go read and comfort Kai because he just hurt his head. So come up here, Bubba. So I'll check in later, but happy Tuesday, folks. Ah. 
hello and a happy Wednesday night, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I didn't update last night. Didn't update all day today. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at vlogging this week. It has been interesting. Um, as you know, we started homeschooling and it's going great. Like, wonderful, fantastic. I'm loving it. Thankfully, the most important thing is that Claire's loving it. And it's really nice. But it is exhausting, like, teaching or going through curriculum all day. And then, of course, you still have to cook and clean and other stuff. But I have been reading. Um, I've only read, like, another ten pages of the Bone Clocks kind of in like a lull right now like it's not the most exciting part of the book um I do still want to finish it this week I'm gonna work on it maybe here soon because my headset's dying um but we'll see uh, I did download it from my library so I can read it on my kindle paperwhite that way I can lay in bed and read it and not have to hold up a huge book and worry about lights and stuff while uh Andrew is trying to sleep not that his work schedule is uh, an issue right now because he is officially in quarantine because he was in contact with somebody who tested positive for COVID. So that's really fun. Um, yeah, so we are just quarant- well, he's supposed to quarantine. They actually said that uh, I'm allowed to go do whatever I want because I am a contact of a contact of a positive person. I'm not doing anything, so don't worry. The only time I leave my house is when I walk the dog. But anyways, so that's why I've been kind of quiet, but I'm gonna try to vlog more. <sighs> Ugh. I, I'm just, I'm really loving homeschooling. I really am. Um, but yeah, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> like, I'm so tired right now. It's actually almost midnight. It's about to be Thursday, technically. Let me just tell you what. Mistborn, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I. I cannot believe that I was not obsessed with this book the first time I read it. It is fantastic. I am obsessed with it now. I can't wait to read the second book. And yeah, I apparently I just needed to sit on it for three years and then reread it. But it's so good. Actually, I'm almost done with it. <laughs> So, um, I, my reading hasn't really suffered because I have been listening to my book at every freaking chance I get. So, yeah, I have three hours left of this book. And, um, it's a 24-hour book. So, I love it. I hope to finish it tomorrow. I would say tonight, but, like, let's be real. I'm going to sleep soon. I'm, I'm very tired. I am going to listen to it a little bit longer. Play some Candy Crush. Or maybe I'll put it down and pick up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I know this vlog is not that great. I am really sorry. Bear with me. The next couple of days I'm going to try to get it together and do more talking. So yeah. But for now, good night, sweet dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. For real. This time. I swear. Yeah. I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for someone like you. Hi friends, it is Thursday night. Um, I, it's alarming how terrible I can look and I'll still put myself on the internet. But um, we're just going to try to look past this, okay, because I'm not feeling that great, which is always fun during a pandemic. Um. I have a really bad headache and I'm really tired, but it's fine. I just took a nap and started some rice. Golly. Some rice. Yeah, we are having sushi bowls tonight for dinner, so that is going to be perfect. Um, but as for a reading update, I only have an hour left on The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. And again, I just cannot believe I wasn't more obsessed with this book when I first read it. I don't know what's happened to me in the last three years, but it's huge difference. So I love it. Cannot wait to read the next one. <sighs> and let's see, I have not picked up, that's not true. I read like three pages today of the bone clocks, but I do plan on reading more, even though I keep saying that I do because 
I'm almost done with my other book, so I'm gonna have to read something. I just wanted to do a quick update, a quick update on Thursday night. I will update again later before bed. <sighs> Anyways, I am sorry for this. That's all, I guess, for now. Yeah, so I will read some more. Oh, I am gonna finish my I'm gonna finish my books on Lala um, video about her seventh grade reading. <sighs> Kayla is just so creative. I'm literally just in awe. Seriously, like, wow. Um, my videos next to hers are like, <sniffs> so. Anyways, I'll give you guys another update later, but I just thought I'd pick up the camera for the first time pretty much today. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's something you do. Hello friends, and happy Friday. It's Friday. Yay! <coughs> anyway, so we got a box today, and since it's book related, I thought I would do an unboxing with you guys. Good sign. They barely protected it. Please don't be hurt. Okay. So we got the matching set to. Why did they do that? Okay, well we got the matching set <clears throat> to... What's the last one called? The Queen of Nothing. Yeah, um, so we got the Fairy Loot Queen of Nothing box when it came out and we got the matching Cruel Prince and the Wicked King, although they're not The titles aren't facing the same way, but it's not upside down. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to go like this. Oh, we got two more signed plaques, so that's fun. Well, at least one of them. Hold on. Two of them. They're both signed. That's neat. But yeah, so... Oh, this one does go like this. Gosh. All right, so they're not, they're not weird at all, but it's weird that the acorn is upside down. But I'm happy to have this set. It's so beautiful. Yeah, so that was my little miniature unboxing from Fairy Loot. Hi. Um, it's, what is it, Friday evening? Here's my uh, mom and here's mommy's sister. What? That's my Kai guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this recording, I'm recording with my mom. Boo. Love you. Please. Okay, hold on, baby. Can I record with you? Yeah, one second. So I'm, I'm gonna record a video on this. All right, I'm gonna give them an update, okay? Okay. So here's an update. The update is that I feel like shit, okay? My throat hurts really bad. Um, I had a cough, but I haven't coughed in a few hours, so that's, <coughs> a, that's a good sign. You're dramatic. I coughed. Um, I just feel run down and exhausted, so stop, please. <sighs> I've been laying in bed most of the afternoon and evening. It's pretty late right now. It's 10 o'clock, so I probably won't even be able to Hi. stay up much longer. Hi. The only update that I have is that I finished Miss Born earlier. Like, I already said that. I haven't read anything else. I've just been mindlessly watching my phone because... I don't know, I just don't feel like I have much brain power to offer mm -hmm. any books, so if I'm being honest, I'm trying not to freak out because as I told you guys, Andrew in a meeting last week was next to someone who was asymptomatic but tested positive before his TDY. I don't, 
again my hair I just I'm sorry I've been laying in bed but um and so I'm just hoping that it's not COVID obviously because I don't, I don't even need to finish that sentence I'm just hoping it's not um Andrew has no symptoms like that well he has a sore throat but he also has like a like a phlegmy kind of sore throat so we're thinking his is allergies related Claire has had a sore throat a few days but she's been sneezing a lot and like runny nose up but it's clear so I think honestly I think most of us are having allergy issues the only thing that scares me is my throat hurts really bad and I did have a slight fever today I'm talking like it was like 99.6 but still um so we called medical well I called medical and of course it's it's Friday so and when I called it was three o'clock so Friday and they were like yeah obviously we can't get you in today um we have a virtual appointment for you set on Monday if it gets any worse sorry if it gets any worse I have to go to Navy Hospital and get a swab the swab test hold on baby What's, is it okay one moment okay let me finish this and then I'll come look Anyways, um, I'm hoping it's nothing, obviously, but I'm just tired, honestly, and I just don't feel that great. And of course, the anxiety and like thought of having COVID makes it worse. Oh yeah, I was saying, um, they told me if my symptoms get any worse to go to Navy Hospital and they can swap me there over the weekend otherwise they will talk to me on monday and decide if i need to be tested or not um the swab test at navy hospitals for dependents and active duty so i could go get that at any time if i felt like i really needed it but obviously i don't want to take away a resource that someone else might need but you guys it's it's like really getting much worse on guam we had 105 cases the day before yesterday and I can't remember how many we had today I want to say 63 which I mean I know that sounds like nothing compared to what the people in the states are dealing with but you guys the population of this island is only 160,000 people that's a lot of like that's a lot of positives for such a small amount of people I don't know I'm gonna try to read them because I love reading, but I'm also tired, so we'll see. I need to take more Tylenol soon to make the swelling go down. But, anyways, so that's my update, my scary update. I will update you guys more this weekend, um, how I'm feeling, but mostly how I'm reading. I know that's what you're here for, so I don't know. But that's, that's my update, all right? 10 o'clock on a Friday night, and I feel like crap, so. I hope you guys are having a much better day than me. <laughs> Maybe in the moonlight, you can set the mood right. I've got a glow. Hello friends and happy Saturday. Last night I did my update about not feeling well. Um and of course a reading update, but I did not realize at the time the hats um <clears throat> the readathon ended last night at midnight i thought it went until tonight at midnight but it didn't so i mean it's fine i'm so proud of what i got done uh in the last two weeks i managed to read supernova by marissa meyer which is a 560 page book and i also also managed to listen to Mistborn the Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson in its entirety and it's 541 pages uh, and it was a 24 hour <laughs> long book so I finished those two books that's over a thousand pages actually I think it's exactly 1101 correct yeah I think so and then I also read 95 pages of the bone clock and just because the readathon is over, I'm still going to try to finish the bone clocks hopefully this week. But I also have a couple other books that if you saw my TBR video for August, you'll know I wanted to read. So we'll see if I can finish everything or not. Um, 
So that is my reading update, my wrap up for that. So if that's all you want, then you know, the video is over for you basically. But a quick update on how I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> I don't feel as sick. Like I feel rested and much better today, but uh, my throat does still hurt. Is it COVID? Probably not. Statistically speaking as well, probably not. So that is relieving of course. <clears throat> but sorry now I have something in my throat um but of course it still sucks to be sick especially during a pandemic because yeah you just don't know like you're like what's going on why am I sick but um overall I do feel much better yeah I just relaxed in bed with my family we watched a movie together um yeah and that's all I did really uh, and slept a lot so that helped um I don't know so we'll see how I feel in the next few days but for the chum topple that is all um I am doing if you enjoy these vlogs let me know because I wouldn't mind doing reading vlogs like just for fun or you know stuff like that but anyways yeah let me know what you think do you enjoy reading vlogs is there anything you would like me to change or do more of or less of probably talking but like I said before I'm a talker so anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you accomplished in this last two weeks for reading or actually just let me know anything anything positive or exciting that happened let me know because we're trying to be positive right now okay like let's just try to keep the positivity going and flowing <clears throat> and Anyways, sorry, I'm done talking. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! You're the night sky, trying to make me see your stars.